Ooh. Ah. Doesn't that look amazing? So anyway, I am going to be unboxing Nepenthes Jacqueline, um, which was... <laughs> This is bad. I'm showing two unboxing videos of two somewhat kind of impulse buys in like the same week. But anyway, I don't normally buy a lot of stuff online. Um, special, special circumstances, call them what you will. Normally I go to local clubs, which I will always advocate. Um, but I wanted this one since I was in high school, which was not a super long time ago, but you know, long enough. And man, and I hope I'm even saying it correctly, Nepenthes Jacqueline is like this gorgeous highland tropical and it's got this just crazy peristome on it. I got mine from, let's scroll up, Predatory Plants during their Cyber Monday sale. And I was watching it and it was the coolest thing. It was 30% off on orders over a hundred. So you can see this plant retails for like about a hundred dollars. And so it worked out that when I bought this plant and another sundew called floating, it's one of these, yeah. Dracera floating, you can see this one is $8. It was the same price to, um, get the Jacqueline and then Dracera floating as without the floating. Um, any, anyway, I got a really, really good deal on it and that's the story, I'm sticking with it. <laughs> anyway, let's get to the unboxing. So it's funny how you have to like, just, or I feel like I have to like justify my spending. <laughs> um, maybe because there's like not a lot of stuff to spend around. Anyway, I'm not sure how to do this. Um, Hopefully this works. How am I using both my hands, you ask? It's because I'm holding the phone with my knees. <laughs> both my bearded dragons are watching anxiously as well. And notice this time I had the foresight to um, grab my phone before screaming, running up the stairs and opening it as quickly as I could. So let's see, I've heard good things from pred uh, about predatory plants. I've never ordered from them before. All right, so I got my invoice, I got two of my plants. The two plants that I ordered are supposedly in here. Planting guide. So keep your plant in its plastic bag out of direct sunlight until you're ready to plant. Soak the enclosed moss ball. Oh, soak the enclosed moss in distilled or reverse osmosis water for 20 to 30 minutes. Once the moss is hydrated, remove your plant from the bag. Remove the paper from around the roots. Leave any soil or ore moss already around the roots alone. Wrap the new moss around the roots at the same level as the paper reach. Loose, loosely pack the moss-wrapped root ball into the pot. Um, now follow the enclosed care instructions for each plant. And then I have an Apenthes and a Drosera. Okay, cool. So that's what all this is for. Luckily, I already have a lot of this. And this is going to be... <laughs> huge mess. Um, it's okay. I needed to vacuum anyway. Ooh. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get something. All right, so I moved and I got my trusty little plastic Tupperware thing. I got all the pots I might need. Um, I love getting these mixes from um, California carnivores. I only live an hour south from them. So yeah, I'm super lucky. I can go to their amazing store and I'll pick up all the carnivore supplies I could possibly need. And um, I, I just loved buying these pre-made mixes. They're super cheap. And uh, it just takes all the, um, all the thought out of it. You know, I live in an apartment. I don't have a shed or something that I can keep all of this stuff in, uh, can, that I can keep like big bags of perlite or anything like that. So being able to get like just the mix. And you can see, for Nepenthes, this is pretty deluxe, right? New Zealand's sphagnum, orchid bark, perlite, pumice, it's all there. But anyway, um, you can see I'm almost through this bag. These are all my plants. I don't have a ton of them. So um, I'm going to need to buy more. 
but this is more than enough. Okay, now I'm actually really ready to keep going on with the unboxing because I'm going to put it in here and who knows what's going to come out of here. So I don't need to use this, so I'm just going to pull it to the side. Oh my gosh, this is so... Ooh. <gasps> there she is, or he, he, she, I don't know. There they are, they're so tiny. Wow, look, the pictures already kind of look like it. Oh my gosh, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> wow, okay, so they're in a bag. Got the plant steak, super well packaged, brand new picture on the side even. Oh my God, this is this is the first time I've ever ordered a tropical, a tropical pitcher plant online. And this is amazing. It, okay, it's slightly ridiculous because I know that Predatory Plants is in San Francisco too somewhere, but it's strictly an online greenhouse. Um, so even though I probably live 20 minutes away from this place. I don't, you know, no one knows where it is, so I have to get it online. But anyway, that aside, this is the best ever. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it out. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, let's see what else. I have another one too. Wow. Oh, so cute. Drisira and Nepenthes, and this is floating. Oh, wow, it's nice and printed out for me. Jeez, this is amazing. The plants look great. Look, they're all the, um, they're all dewy still even. Awesome. Oh, wow, and I didn't need to dig out pots because here are two pots right here. Nice. Okay, this is super cool. Highly recommend predatory plants for sure. So I'm gonna save this for another day um, and I'm gonna pop these up with the mixes that I have. Oh my God, this is amazing, guys. Okay, so here's a closer look at the Drusera floating outside of the plastic. Okay, and here's the steak that comes with it. This is cool. I'm actually gonna put it in a smaller pot that I already have um, so that it'll fit on my mini bog tray. But anyway, I'm gonna do that really quick. Okay, I can tell this is already, I can already tell, this is going to be one of my favorite plants ever. Look at this, there's already a developing picture over there. The, the tiny, these tiny pictures are just so adorable. And they already look like baby Jack. I mean, of course it's supposed to look like that, but when it actually looks like that, and you're holding it in your hand, I mean, look at this picture. It's like so tubby already. And then look how tiny it is. Like, it's so tubby. Sorry, I'm like losing it here. <laughs> there are three, there are three pictures on here and one developing. Like, this is ridiculous quality. Oh my gosh, it's like a glass. Oh, okay. Let me try and pop this up without like completely losing it. Okay, so I'm unwrapping it. So there's this, sorry. Waldo's over there, like, trying to get out. She really wants to see what I'm doing. <laughs> ah, silly lizards. Okay, anyway, back to the task at hand. Opening up the paper here. You can see there's quite a large root ball. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in using the deluxe mix that I got from California Carnivores. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I just wanted to check in about halfway while potting. Obviously the reason why I can't videotape it while I'm actually potting is because I need two hands to do it. But the trick is to make sure that the soil level is exactly at the same level that the paper was. And you see I gotta move my plant over a little bit and it's kind of tricky especially with Nepenthes because they have all these long tendrils and they're kind of fragile. But uh, I'm just, I put in some soil at the bottom and now I'm just carefully adding soil around the sides. All right guys, this is hands down the best Cyber Monday deal I've ever gotten. I think last year I got an Xbox One over there that I hardly ever play. 
So <laughs> that's pretty, uh, this is pretty intense. Um, anyway, oh, look, I can't get over how cute that tubby little pitcher is. And the two over here, these are all seed clone or seed grown. So they're all, they were like about, uh, I forget how many plants they released uh, from Borneo Exotics, I believe. And so this plant's completely unique and I was really interested to see what color the pitches, pitchers were going to be. Looks like it has the ability to get super deep red. So we'll see if they get that red under my care. But this plant is incredibly healthy. I've been examining it while potting it up. Absolutely no pests whatsoever. Um, it's little, of course, but my God, it's gorgeous. Um, so I'm gonna pot up the Dracera floating and then I'll show them in their new home. Okay, so here are my two little plants in their new homes. I just watered them and um, misted them. I missed my plants twice a day, sometimes three times. Uh, you can see that I have rock in the tray and I save space by putting multiple plants on the same one. So this entire rack is like a micro environment, super high humidity here. Uh, it can go from 75 to 85. And as you can see, gray San Francisco, perfect for Nepenthes Highlands plants. So I'm super lucky and I know I'm super lucky. I don't have to grow them in a highland chamber like a lot of people do. I can just grow them in my living room. But here's my new baby. Look at these little pictures. They're so tiny, but they've already got the characteristics of Jacqueline. And here we go. So beautiful, strong growing points.